Filmmaking in particular is a way that I understand the world. I use video editing to process my own thoughts, almost like it's a, like it's a journal or something. What's up friends, my name is Jesse Driftwood. What makes you unique isn't necessarily your sound effects or your camera moves or your transitions. What makes you unique is your perspective on the world. And so one thing that I'm very focused on it is injecting my own perspective into my film. I found that when Instagram launched stories, it gave me an opportunity to make a thing every day and not be so precious about what I was making because the worst case scenario is that it was gone tomorrow. I learned how to tell stories really efficiently because you only have so much time to cram all the information in there, but I still wanted to have a beginning, a middle, an end. I really started craving more time with the camera. So finally, I've made the leap over to YouTube so I can actually really put more time into it. And that's where I am now. I'm, I'm making these weekly YouTube uploads in a very similar fashion that I've developed over the last 18 months with Instagram. Even though sometimes I wish that struggle would go away to figure out what I was gonna make or how it was gonna turn out, it's still something that I love about the process. Often what happens is I'll have an idea and I'll start jotting down really loose notes uh, on a topic that I wanna kind of expand upon, that I wanna figure out. And then I'll go out with just that idea in mind. I'll start filming things and I'll talk to the camera. I'll try and articulate my thoughts. Where to begin? Where to begin? This last two years of making these internet videos has been unbelievable. And one of my favorite things is actually all the new relationships I've built through Instagram and through YouTube. Even if they're not trying to make the same kind of content, fundamentally that, that desire to create something we can relate on. And it's like when I find the right song, I finally get this momentum. I, I start feeling like there's actually a flow and a pace and I can, it's, it's like a dance between the music and the visuals and they kind of work together in order to portray the same thing that builds an emotional impact. And dealing with a site like Epidemic means not, not that things have gotten easier, but that it has become more accessible. I can't tell you how many times just finding a song has sparked an idea. Music for me is at least as important as the rest of the process, as, as the visuals are, as the concepts. Step one is that you understand yourself and that you can put things out into the world that you're proud of. Maybe not proud of for their uh, quality, or but proud of because it's better than you used to be, because it's better than the thing you made last week. And, it, um, and eventually, you keep doing that long enough, people are going to relate to you. They're gonna relate to that creative process. It might be other creatives that are inspired by you because they are also struggling trying to manifest the things they feel and the things they believe into the world. And so seeing you go through that process, seeing your growth as a filmmaker can oftentimes be more inspiring than your film itself. <laughs>